Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle on demoniac diversities. Now I will share truth with you that so very few responsible human souls know anything about, much less what I will teach and prove to you in this special Earth Class about demons. If you hear other teachers and preachers, you will soon see that they know little or nothing about this subject or even about their own soul and spirit. I love all of these dear souls and want the best for them, but I respect their freedom of sovereign choice, and if they choose to remain in their playpen of ignorance, they will have a large following through entertainment instead of instruction in the realms of righteousness. Some even consider what they don't understand about these subjects to not be real and true. But the simple laws of Acom's razor and cause and effect will prove past, present, and even some future realities to anyone who is teachable. Remember, all creation has a beginning, but no ending. Infinity has always been with no beginning or ending, like eternal. But eternal is the personalization of infinity and proves the existence of God in his great creative acts. For his creations and all of their descendants will continue forever as everlasting beings regardless of the legalities of their crosses. There was much more of the illegal crosses between species on altered earth before the time of Noah and the world flood that came about primarily because of those illegal crosses. Just to cite a few of those crosses were the centaur, a half-human, half-horse, having a man's head, arms, and upper body instead of a, the horse's neck and head. The cyclops, a giant man-like creature with one large eye in its forehead. The harpy, a half-human, half-bird. The Minotaur, a man, bull, and angel cross, with the large head of a bull on the very large body of a man. The Pegasus, a flying winged horse. And the Satyr, a half man and half goat. There are more named in mythology, with some being all total fictitious exaggerations, but some based upon proven truth. It is written, the sons of God, angels that Moses called sons of God, for he did not understand the spirit realm, as most don't today. The sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they, the male angels, took them wives, all of which they chose. There were angels in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Genesis 6, 2 and 4. It got to be such a sexual orgy, so to speak, on earth with no thoughts of the consequences of their uncontrolled passions. Consider the number of progeny a woman on earth could and did produce from living 500 years or more in mortal time, with most producing progeny each year for several hundred years, with their progenies doing the same, with men in their mortal bodies having sex with that progeny, and even animals fighting amongst themselves and others to the point that it was a grief to God, which proves God was not and is not in control of all things and planned everything to be that way. The dear human souls who don't see and believe this do not because they don't want to. For it is far easier to simply place the blame of all things upon God instead of themselves. And this is nothing new, for it started long ago with the fall of Lucifer. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart 
was on evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Genesis 6, 5 and 6. Further proof, the theory of the three evil O's blamed on God is evil deception. What I want to share with you now is from the context of individual uniqueness and how the specifics applies to each individual, regardless of their genetics, whether angel, animal, or human, or any crosses thereof. Remember, all individual life begins at conception of an everlasting spirit body, soul, and a temporal mortal body through genetics from its parents. These laws of reproduction were very strong in the beginning, thus the longevity of mortal life on altered earth then. All mortal bodies could, of course, feel pain, be injured, and killed, but not the spirit, body, and soul. The illegal wrong crosses between angel, uh, animal, and humans on altered earth were nearly all of the earth's population at that time, with Noah, his wife, and three sons, with their wives, being about the only true humanity left on earth that God started over again after the world flood. The illegal wrong crosses between angels and humanity before the flood were a wide range of misfits from the giants to the small fearful greys who left earth before the flood and the many spacecraft that their fathers had come to earth in. Fearing what Noah had been preaching about for 120 years of mortal time, Genesis 6, 3b. Demons are not fallen angels, but are illegal crosses with other species. As you know, humans, like God, have 12 unlimited soul potential abilities. Angels have six limited soul abilities that are perfect within their abilities, especially in their memory where they never forget anything they have ever learned. Animals have only three soul abilities. And remember that demons are the illegal crosses between fallen angels and humanity having nine limited soul abilities. Although the illegal crosses between fallen angel, human, and animals are demons with less limited soul abilities. All of the demons had a spirit body in a temporal mortal body. And upon the death of their mortal bodies, some sought to attach themselves to or within human mortal bodies, seeking identity and purpose, for each one is different. But all will obey the human soul who has achieved godlikeness through unconditional love and kindness to all. Sadly, very few human souls on altered earth see godlikeness this way. But everything is changing now for the best because of these special earth classes, especially in the fallen angelic realm. And even among the demoniac diversities who now believe they will live forever in happiness, peace, joy, and purpose in a place of heavenly bliss with their own ancestors, all of who will never hurt grow old, and die, for they are forgiven of all things through the person and work of Jesus Christ and his unconditional love combined with God's great unconditional love. They have learned the truth about all of this in these special earth classes. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you so much for coming to an understanding of these powerful principles that will set you free. Until next time.